Welcome to Toro NSN's Training in 10, an innovative, self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. Today's topic is utilizing site codes for building programs. While this presentation is focused on SitePro 2.0 versions and higher, the principles apply to all versions of SitePro. Many users like to build their main programs and or supplemental programs utilizing site codes as the identifiers. There are many different supplemental programs people build, such as dry greens, different turf types, wet spots, or specifics depending upon soil type, compaction, etc. We are going to build a supplemental program in this Training in 10 video. So let's start by going and building a site code for dry greens. Let's click on Setup. Now click on Environmental. Now click on Site Code. There are three upper tabs in Site Codes. We have Plant, Soil, and other. Each site code has the ability to have several thousand different codes per column. These codes have letter designations from blank blank A to three Z's and all combinations in between. The names are utilized by you, the end user, to identify these site codes in the control system so you don't have to remember what the code is. The adjustment factor at the end is utilized to modify the run times. We have another training in 10 that discusses the run time adjustments via site codes. In this exercise, we are going to utilize the other super tab for this specialized function. Click here. If you have never used site codes in your system, you'll have none in. And under the other super tab, there will be three sub tabs labeled user define. To rename them as we have, right mouse click on the first user define and this will allow you to rename them. What we are going to utilize in this exercise is the special sub tab. Here is the site code other special site code area. Now to add another site code, click on the bottom code and the down arrow on your keyboard. Now that this blank line has appeared, you can start putting in your information. One of the things to remember is do not utilize a code already in this column. So, under the code, type in a alpha character up to 3. Once you've added the alpha character in, then click tab, place the name that you want to identify as this site code, and a percentage adjustment at the end. If you do not put a percentage adjustment in, it will default to 100%. Here, we have built a site code with the alpha code A, the name Dry Greens, and the adjustment factor 
at 100%. Once you click on another cell, it will reorganize the site codes in an alpha order. Once you have added your site code in, then click OK to lock in your new site code. Now, let's tag the stations we want to place in this new program. So let's go to the control system through Setup, click Control System. Now, click on the Station Super tab to go to the station locations. And you may want to expand this screen to better see the information. You will need to scroll over to the site code columns. Remember, we utilized the special site code column. Now, click on a station you want to tag with this site code. Now click on the drop down arrow to select the site code that you built. Here are all the site codes that are in the special column. Select the site code you wish to tag this station under. Do this for each station we want to put in our new program. You can also select stations in different satellites by utilizing the drop-down to change from one satellite to another. Once you have finished tagging the stations, click the OK button to lock in all tag stations. If you have not built a program and placed it in a start time sequence, please do so now. If you need a refresher on building a program and or adding it to a start time sequence, please review a previous training in 10 session. Now, Let's assign stations to program by going to Setup. Now scroll down to the Assign Station location. At the drop down at Program, select the new program you built. Once you have selected the new program from the drop-down, click the Assign Station button to take you to the Auto Programmer. From previous training in 10 sessions, you have learned how to use the different identifiers. Since in this exercise, we are utilizing the site codes, make sure to place the check in the box next to site codes. Now click the drop down arrow and select the site code column utilized in the site code area of the control system. At this point you have selected the site code column. Now you need to select the site code that was utilized within that column. You have to be specific in the utilization of the auto programmer. So in this exercise we would select dry greens. Once you have selected the site code column and the specific site code, you can then click assign. The assigning process will now check the control system for stations that are tagged 
with this specific site code and assign them to our new program. Once SitePro has checked the control system for the tagged stations, it places them in the program. This shows that we have added stations to our new program. Now click Close. This screen now shows the stations that have been put in the new program. It shows the group, satellite, station number, and the name. At this point, click OK to lock in these stations into the program. We have added a site code, tagged individual stations to place them in a program, and then assigned them to a new program. These stations within this new program will irrigate during their next scheduled event. You can check this by doing a projected flow and checking the scheduled activity report. Well, another 10 minutes have gone by and you have just completed another episode of NSN's Training in 10. Today's topic has been utilizing site codes for program building in SitePro. We hope that this Training in 10 lesson was helpful for you to better understand this helpful tool and that it helps further enhance your career working with the number one irrigation central control product available, Toro SitePro. Be sure to keep looking for future installments of NSN's Training in 10, the self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. If you have any questions about this or about future training module releases, or if you would like to participate in one of our acclaimed Toro SitePro regional training classes, please contact us by calling 888-676-8676, option 2. Once again, that's 888-676-8676, option 2.